Welcome to our dry brush watercolor technique demonstration. Here I wanted to show you um, how to do the dry brush with several different brushes and we're mixing the paint not too thick but the color is still pretty bold. And first we're using the round brush and I'm using it um, on, the, on its side and also straightforward how you normally would brush but you see the angle of the brush is not very steep it's very close to the paper so picking up a little bit of paint not a lot um, you will drag the brush across so that it just hits lightly whatever texture your paper is in uh, your substrate actually is so the technique really does depend quite a bit on the type of paper that you have and how much rough texture that you have. Uh, there's uh, many types of paper available and this one were, uh, that I'm using as a demonstration uh, first was the Strathmore paper which it does have a texture. I'm not fond of that paper but it will work. Uh, second one that I'm doing is on Arches um, watercolor paper that is a um, cold pressed and cold pressed uh, watercolor paper has a, a texture or a tooth to it and again don't pick up too much um, paint but you can see here that I'm kind of dabbing or taking some of the paint off and then just taking the brush and dragging across and at a very steep angle. So you want to try and practice this first to see how it works. When you initially touch the paper, um, a lot of paint tends to come off. So you kind of have to test that out. And then it actually runs out of um, uh, paint to put onto the paper. So what you're getting is just the bumpy surface and then that um, where the uh, paint, uh, the paper um, dips down in the texture then that remains white so you get this sparkly look to it. And you can do short strokes and just lightly stroke. Uh, so you could do tree bark, tree branches, um, the texture of the ground, the texture of wood. Um, I like to use it quite a bit for um, texture of um, rust and paint peeling off of a surface. So for me as an artist texture is very important. Now I wanted to show you uh, what it's like using the um, flat brush and I just picked up a little bit and again um, that paint is initially going to uh, come out and then it's going to kind of run out so it may be a little frustrating um, at first I would definitely try to um, uh, practice this on a scrap of paper or even on the back of some of your other practice uh, so that you don't waste any of your paper at this point. Um, as you can see I am actually using the back um, uh, of the paper and then the paintbrush itself uh, I like to see the you know it's not full of paint and it has uh, you know some of the hairs separated from each other and so it gives it even more of a texture. It's a very very light touch to do this technique. So um, just go kind of with the flow. It, it loosens your, you up. A lot of times I paint using this over um, things that have been painted in several layers and then this is the top uh, layer and it uh, uh, will create some some texture and uh, some detail that you might want uh, to use for your paintings. And this is what it looks like. So 
So I'm going to continue on with one of our um, demo pieces. Uh, you guys might have seen this before. I'm using the round brush and you can see I like to have that uh, the edges of the brush just kind of separated not going to a tip and um, just kind of dabbing it or dragging it and it's very loose so it gives you that fresh kind of loose look. Um, not everything has to be you know perfectly uh, rendered it can be um, something a slightly more on the abstract and it'll give you the idea so for like uh, for instance the water area I'm just dragging it across because you can see between the blue and the white of the paper that gives you kind of the idea of um, sky reflection or the uh, um, clouds reflecting and you can yeah, again you can dab uh, into the painting so it's just a little bit of um, surface detail for um, a very textured painting